So I made a video on the best bases in State of Decay 2 already, which were all three of the best bases that cost 3500 influence and require a big group. But what if you want a smaller base or simply have a smaller group? Smaller groups are definitely easier to maintain, so I decided to show you guys some other cool bases in the region of Cascade Hills. If you guys like this video, I'll make more base videos on other regions, so let me know by leaving a like. So like I said in my best bases video, the Container Fort is definitely the best base in Cascade Hills, and possibly the best in the game. Here's the location, just in case you missed it on that video, but Cascade Hills also has other bases to offer. I actually found two more really cool bases. One being a very small base, and the other being a decent sized base, but not quite as big as the Container Fort. First we have this really cool looking bridge base. It's actually called the Bridge Fort. It's actually not part of the main bridge going across there, but it's one of the sickest looking bases I've seen in the game. It just looks really, really cool. Keep in mind though, it's a pretty small base. It comes with a sheltered bed, three parking spots, one western watch post, one eastern watch post, one large slot, one small indoor slot, and two small outdoor slots. Not too bad though for the price of 500 influence and only four people in your group. It's hands down one of the coolest and best small bases that I've seen in the game. And for our other base, it's actually a lot of people's favorites. I've actually seen a lot of people like this one better than the container fort surprisingly. It's the church on the hill base. This base is huge and it being on a hill is a huge plus. It's not as big as the container fort, so if you don't have a huge group or just have different needs or just don't have enough influence for an even bigger base, this is probably the best base you can really get. And it's probably the only base in the region that competes with the container fort. It's also a lot cheaper at 1000 influence compared to the container fort which is 3500 influence and you only need a group of 5 people. So it's a pretty average size base for an average size group and it's actually pretty cheap. You can get this not too long after starting the game. The church on the hill has one bell tower, four parking spots, two things of pews which you can just clear out of the way for more slots, one large slot, one small indoor slot, two small outdoor slots. And I believe the pews are cleared for indoor slots. Thanks for watching guys, be sure to check out some of my other State of Decay 2 videos. I have a big playlist on the channel of helpful videos on the game, so be sure to check those out. Leave a like if this video helped you, any other bases, any other regions that you guys like, I'll be sure to toss those in a video if I make another bases video for you guys. And by the way guys, thank you for 6,000 subscribers, it really does mean a lot. I hope to see some of you new subscribers, along with the older subscribers, in future videos. See ya!